providing the land, the secretariat, and some seed money for the preparatory phase. Mr. Speaker, the President is determined that the building of the National Cathedral would not put a due financial burden on the state. He has therefore proposed a partnership between the state and the Ghanaian Christian community, both at home and in the diaspora. The formal launch of this national fundraising campaign is slated for December 28, 2018 in Ghana and February 2019 in the U.S. The National Cathedral Partnership Framework operationalizes and indeed is a practical expression of the social partnership envisaged to foster participatory development of country as our collective goal. This, we hope, Mr. Speaker, will be counted as righteousness for the nation. Mr. Speaker, the Creative Arts Industry Bill is now in Parliament for deliberation and passage into law. The Creative Arts Fund is incorporated in the bill to ensure the economic viability of the creative arts sector in the economy. In addition, government in 2019 will pursue the passing of a legislative instrument to establish a secretariat for the National Film Authority and will also facilitate the construction of an ultra-modern film production studio to attract international film community. Mr. Speaker, government has also identified and acquired 200 acres of land to support a village for the creative arts. To commemorate the 400 years of slavery, a delegation led by His Excellency the President Nana Dudabwe Kufuado went to declare 2019 as the year of return in September this year. The Ghana Tourism Authority is leading this campaign that will see a great number of African diaspora from the United States of America, the Caribbean, and the United Kingdom return to Ghana on a pilgrimage to promote heritage tourism in 2019. Mr. Speaker, in 2019, the government will support the development authorities to deliver the following projects. The Northern Development Zone will benefit from the construction of 20 irrigation dams to support all year round farming, 15 warehouses for storage of grains and cereals, 200 culverts, rehabilitation of 200 kilometers of farm roads, 170 tricycle to transport shear nuts, 85 new six unit classrooms, blocks of ancillary facilities, renovation of 114 classroom blocks, and provision of 162 units of motor tricycle ambulances and 28 rural centers. The Middle Belt Development Zone will also implement the following projects. Construction of 30 small town water systems, 300 culverts, establishment of 33 industrial enclaves, 30 small town markets, 15 small irrigation dams, 15 warehouses, irrigation of 300 kilometers of farm access roads, establishment of 18 agriculture and business incubation centers, and 30 community development centers. In the coastal development zone, the following projects will also be delivered the establishment of 10 agriculture centers, four fish and shrimp farm enclaves, provision of street light, construction of 10 small town water systems, 100 culverts, and provision of 200,000 school furniture. In addition, the four regions, Volta, Greater Accra, Central, Western region within the zone will benefit from the construction of 20 teacher's quarters, each 20 small bridges, five drainage systems, four waste recycling plants, 10 rural health centers, and rehabilitation of 300 kilometers of farm roads and feeder roads. Youth and sports. Mr. Speaker, sports continues to be one of the key unifying factors in our country, bringing all of us together as one, irrespective of our differences. I am pleased to announce, Mr. Speaker, that Ghana is currently hosting the Confederation of African Football Women's Nations Cup and we have also, and we have also, Mr. Speaker, won the bid to host the 2023 All Africa Games. Mr. Speaker, the Crossword Stadium has been renovated after a decade of neglect. Finally, sports-loving Ghanaians can go to the Accra Stadium and safely watch their favorite teams play. Government has additionally invested 
in 10 youth and sports centers of excellence in Accra, excellence in each, in each of the 10 regions of Ghana, which are at various stages of development.